Hey guys, I am back again with another video and today I have Realme 7 and I'm gonna root this one without any custom recovery or computer system. To root this phone, firstly we have to unlock its bootloader. So go to settings. And click on about phone. And then click on baseband and kernel version and tap sound time here. Here you can see my developer option is enabled. Let me adjust my brightness. Click on developer options from additional settings. And now enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Now download and install in depth test application. I will give its link in description and make sure you are connected with internet now click on start applying button and agree its privacy policy and hit submit application here you can see my application is submitted and after 2 minutes I got successfully approval for bootload unlocking now put your phone and bring another phone here you can see I am using J26 which is Samsung phone and this will help us in bootload unlocking of my Realme 7. Now download Bugjeezer application in your secondary phone from play store and I will also give its link in description. Here you can see this is Bugjeezer application and now open this application and click on fast boot which is last tab of this application and now click on start in depth in uh, in depth application and it will boot our phone in fast boot mode wait some time here you can see my phone is successfully booted in fast boot mode Now connect both phone with USB cable and make sure your secondary phone supports uh, OTG cable. Here you can see my phone is sub, uh, supporting OTG cable with micro USB cable. Uh, sorry micro USB OTG. And uh, other side is type C for Realme 7 and click OK. And now you can see my phone is successfully connected. Uh, add let me skip it. Now type fast boot devices to check your device is connected or not. Hit ok you can see my device is connected. Now type fast boot flashing unlock to unlock its boot loader. And I will also give these commands in description fast boot flashing unlock and it will unlock our bootloader here you can see a pop up from my realme 7 which is saying volume of 4 unlocking bootloader and down 4 boot in main system so i pressed volume up and it can take some time so wait Now you can see my phone is saying unlock pass. I think my buttons is not working here so I can boot our phone with secondary phone. To boot phone in main system just type fast boot reboot and it will boot our phone in main system. I think my phone is booting up. and ignore this warning this is orange state warning and it is saying cause my phone is uh, now unlocked so ignore these warnings and wait some time until your phone is successfully powered up Jesus <laughs> detected my phone
this is awesome application for those who have not a computer system or laptop you can remove usb cables cause my j2 is not have enough battery set up your phone and i'm fast forward forwarding my video to make video short here you can see my bootloader is unlocked to check your bootloader is unlocked or not we have to uh, enable developer option second time and you can see my oem is unlocked now i can root my phone or install twrb on it but in this video i'm, I'm gonna install root this one without any custom recovery to root this phone you have uh, you need two files and i will also give its link in description and now install magisk and click on install button and give it permission of your storage and now select your boot file sorry select boot file and click on let's go button and here you can see this is adding root in our boot image and after here you can see my boot image is successfully passed and it is saved in my download folder now you uh, you again need your secondary phone now open this tool uh, second time and connect phone with usb cables usb and otg cables let me show you my file here you can see this is our patched boot image and you can delete this file or you you can also restore this file if you if you don't want to root it will reverse your root process cause this is stock boot image of your room of your realme 7 now connect both phone with usb cables now you can you can also access the file of my realme 7 in my file manager here you can see my phone is connected just like uh, computer system and this is internal storage of uh, my realme 7 now copy vb meta file in your phone uh, on which you are using bug geezer and now you have to also copy a boot a paste boot image from realme 7 and which is saved in download folder here you can see this is our download folder let me change its layout yes there it is magic patch y2g3u and copy this to your secondary phone you can see my file is successfully copied now open bug tool and close your file manager open your bug geezer tool again and here tab reboot bootloader and it will boot our phone in fast boot mode it is booting our phone in fast boot mode it can take some time to boot in fast boot mode so wait here it is successfully booted in fast boot mode and bug geezer is also saying us your phone is connected here you can see and click ok add open terminal from here now 
not i fast boot devices to check your device is connected or not and i also know my device is connected i'm just typing it to show you you can see my phone is connected now it is time to install boot image in uh, our realme 7 to install boot image just type fast boot flash and address of boot image fast boot flash boot and here address of our boot image and i know my boot image is stored in my root directory of my secondary phone now click on magic patch boot image and just hit enter button to uh, to flash our boot image in realme 7 and here you can see this is successfully flashed our boot image in realme 7 now it is time to install vb meta on it and this is big command so i can i'm trying to type it it is difficult to type commands from uh, android phone it is easier in computer system or qwerty keyboards sorry hardware qwerty keyboards fast boot disable verity verification disable flash vb meta file <laughs> this command is i will also give these command in description and i told you many times and just hit ok now you can see my vb meta is also successfully installed or transfer from my j2 to my realme 7 now boot our phone in main system to boot in main system just type fast boot reboot I think this command is not work here so what I do huh, you can you you can manually boot your phone in main system by pressing volume down and power button simultaneously or you can press both uh, both volume plus and down button and power button now again ignore these warnings you can see my phone is successfully booted up which is good and click on magisk ah uh, you can you can see my phone is successfully rooted without computer system or recovery let me check with uh, with another root checker application <laughs> yes there it is my phone is successfully rooted with android 10 latest security patch and without computer or twrpi